Sport You Can Count On continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Brothers in the big leagues. That is the case in the Kiermaier household. Kevin's made it to the majors playing center field as we know. Big brother Dan, he's in the big leagues taking care of the field. After graduating from Purdue with a degree in turf science, the oldest of the Kiermaier boys is a grounds is a groundskeeper at just any old ballpark. In fact, he's in his second season calling the bricks and ivy of Wrigley Field his home. Here's Dan's story. You know, I have a lot of friends that, you know, work office jobs and they work in a cubicle and stuff like that. Sometimes there's, there'll be a hard day, hot weather, you know, extreme rain. But at the same time, I'm working at Wrigley Field, so it's like, I can't really complain because I'm doing what I love and I'm where I want to be, so it's really cool. My official title is Groundskeeper 1. We usually get here day game, 7 o'clock. We'll come in, you know, clean up anything that needs to be taken care of. We'll get on the mowers, mow, um, prep the mound, home plate. And then the majority of our time in the morning is prepping the uh, infield skin area or the clay. That's kind of my focus pregame is to have that prepped and ready to go so there's no bad hops, um, anything that would disturb the consistency, consistency of the play. We never had time for, a, uh, for an actual summer job playing sports all summer long, so I just got into it mowing like old ladies around my neighborhood's yards. And uh, so I knew I liked it. And then once I realized, you know, I could study it, you know, it's just something I ran with. You know, first couple home stands I was mowing, now I'm kind of, you know, on the infield more. After my first internship in New York, I knew this is what I wanted to do. I did another internship, post-grad internship, up at the University of Michigan. From there, I went to uh, Phoenix, Arizona with the White Sox and Dodgers at their spring training facility at Camelback Ranch. Was out there for a little over a year. Went to Cincinnati. I was the head uh, groundskeeper for the Cincinnati Reds Urban Youth Academy, a brand new facility that they opened. And after that, I had a uh, job offer with the Dodgers and the Cubs at the same time. And you know, ultimately, you know, I grew up a Cubs fan. This is where I wanted to be. Wrigley Field, I mean, this is like a dream come true for me every time I step foot in this place. I knew from an early age that Kev was going to be playing baseball for a long time. Watching him play, it was evident the talent that he had. I was uh, not as fortunate, you know, with the playing side of it, but it was always my goal once I got into turf to make it to the big leagues one day, take care of a major league park. And the fact that it, you know, it's here at Wrigley Field, it is... You know, dream come true for me, just like it is for him. And that ball is caught by Kermeyer. I kind of put Kev, like, in mind whenever I, you know, I'm doing anything out there because I ask myself, you know, would Kev want to play on this surface? Would this be good enough for him? Because I don't want him getting hurt or anything out here. And I treat the, our players the same way. The fact that we made it in two different kind of realms is, uh, you know, kind of cool too, you know, because it's, you know, both small town kids, Port Wayne guys, you know, and here he is winning the gold glove, platinum glove, and I'm taking care of Wrigley Field, so it's kind of cool when you think about it all. I can remember when I was 10 years old and we came here and watched Sammy Sosa in 1998 in his home run chase, and uh, that was my first experience here, and I fell in love with the place back then, so. To see the same looks on people's faces when they walk through those gates, it, it really is gratifying for me to, you know, help them experience that joy and to uh, feel the same feelings that I felt the first time I walked in here. Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. At 6 o'clock, we brought you the story of Dan Kiermeyer. And while his younger brother Kevin has made it to the majors as a player, Dan reaching the big leagues in his own way with the title of Groundskeeper 1 at Wrigley Field. Tonight, the Fort Wayne native gives you a tour of the historic ballpark with knowledge and perspective you've never seen before. On a game day, typical game day, we'll get in about 7 o'clock, and it's usually we'll take off about an hour after the game. So on a normal day game, it'll be 7 to 5.30, 6 maybe if we have to water afterwards. 10 to 12 hours typically, yeah. I took care of the mound last year, and yeah, be, they'd show the guys uh, out there for the first pitch, and they're just, you know, digging to China, you know, it's like, all right, I just spent all day manicuring that, getting that ready, but, you know, it is, it is what it is. This is Boston Ivy. 
We have a guy that pretty much takes care of it exclusively, um, does all the spraying applications, he trims it. Anytime we have a concert or an event, there's people pulling ivy, taking pictures, jumping into it, you know, there's always, you know, people that want to, you know, get and put their hands in it and stuff. First day on the job, though, you had to come out and touch it, right? Oh, yeah. Of course <laughs> I did, yeah. I actually gave my aunt, my Aunt Sue, um, we, the, the ivy has a bunch of seeds in the fall, you know, and it drops them, and I collected them and froze them all winter, and she actually planted them this, this spring, and she has ivy growing in her backyard now, so. Back in Fort Wayne? Back in Fort Wayne, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There is a lot of manicuring time that goes into it. It's not just one of those things we don't show up an hour before the game mowing chalk, you know, it's, which I think a lot of people think that that's how it works, but we, we, we spend a lot of time here, you know, a lot of weekends, a lot of holidays. This is actually all new sod right here. This is where the stage was for the uh, James Taylor and Fish concerts. I think it was, ended up being 20,000 square foot, but all of center field. On an average week, how many times do you mow? Every day? When the team's in town, yeah, we mow every day. Every day. And we're mowing at about an inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth. They like it nice and short, so the ball plays fast. Good infield is one that uh, has no bad hops. We nail drag it um, day in, day out to, you know, blend in our cleat marks from the night before. Um, this clay is actually 70% sand and only 30% clay, so it drains really quick in case there is rain. We just graded after the concert, so everything is perfectly flat. We drag every uh, after the, every third, fifth, and seventh inning. And is then, that you out there? On yeah, the... I'm on a drag. We don't do any dancing or anything like that, thank God. So <laughs> no, that's not my. Uh, not like the tin cap. No, guys. thank God. Yeah, I'll take you down here. This is uh, like I said, it's it's not pretty. Keep our hoses right here, and then a lot of our tools will be down this hallway, which you know are very tight you know, corridored places, so it's, uh, you know, it can get a little messy from time to time, but. Would you say this is kind of the, the less glamorous part that people oh, don't yeah. get a this chance is, to this see? This is the stuff that people don't usually get to see, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is where we uh, call our home. Actually seeing everything firsthand that I've always seen on TV and stuff like that is probably the coolest thing, you know, for me, you know, working at this place. For now, I'm happy here. I'd like to see a World Series. That'd be, that's the ultimate goal for me right now, is to uh, be here when the Cubs win the first World Series in 108 years, which would be a dream come true. And as we told you at 6, Dan graduating from Purdue with a degree in turf science, so he didn't exactly fall into the job at Wrigley. He worked his way up. He also says he can't see himself ever leaving the Cubs unless it's for a heads, head groundskeeper position somewhere else in the majors.